The Life and Sad Ending of Arlene Francis Arlene Francis, born Arlene Francis Kazanjian, was born October 20th, 1907 in Boston, Massachusetts, the daughter of Leah and Aram Kazanjian. Her father was an Armenian immigrant, later painter and portrait photographer. Her mother was the daughter of actor Alfred Davis. Even at an early age, Arlene said, I started out with one goal. I wanted to be a serious actress. When Frances was seven years old, her father decided that opportunities were greater in New York and moved the family to a flat in Washington Heights, Manhattan. After attending Finch College, Frances began a varied career as an entertainer based in New York City. She became an accomplished stage actress, performing in many local theater and off-Broadway plays, compiling 25 Broadway plays to her credit through 1975. In 1932, she made her film debut in Universal's Murders in the Rue Morgue. She appeared in films sporadically until the 1970s. Afterward, Frances became well known as a New York City radio personality, hosting several programs. In 1938, she became the female host of a radio game show, What's My Name? Although several men appeared as co-hosts over the years, Frances was the sole female host throughout the program's long run on ABC, NBC, and Mutual Networks until it ended in 1949. In 1940, Frances played Betty in Betty and Bob, an early radio soap opera broadca broadcast. In 1943, she began as host of a network radio game show, Blind Date which she hosted also on ABC and NBC television from 1949 to 1952. She was a regular contributor to NBC's Radio's Monitor in the 1950s and 60s and hosted a long-run midday chat show on WOR AM that ran from 1960 to 1984. Francis was a panelist on the weekly game show What's My Line? from its second episode on CBS in 1950 until its network cancellation in 1967 and in its daily syndicated version from 1968 to 1975. The original show, which featured guests whose occupation or line the panelists were to guess, became one of the classic television game shows, noted for the urbanity of its hosts and panelists. She appeared on other game shows, including Match Game, Password, To Tell the Truth, and other programs produced by Mark Goodson and Bill Todman, including a short-lived hosting stint on The Goodson-Todman Show by Popular Demand, replacing original host Robert Alda. Francis was the highest-earning game show panelist in the 1950s, making $1,000 per show on the primetime version of What's My Line. By contrast, the second-highest-paid panelist on TV, Dorothy Killigan and Faye Emerson received $500 per appearance. Frances was the MC on the last episodes of the short-lived The Comeback Story, a 1954 reality show on ABC in which mostly celebrities shared stories of having overcome adversities in their personal lives. Frances was a pioneer for women on television, one of the first to host a program that was not musical or dramatic in nature. In, from 1954 to 1957, she was host and editor-in-chief of Home, NBC's hour-long daytime magazine program oriented towards women, which was conceived by network president Pat Weaver to complement the network's Today and Tonight programs. Newsweek put her on its cover as the first lady of television. She hosted Talent Patrol in the mid-1950s. She acted in a few Hollywood films, debuting the role of a streetwalker who falls prey to mad scientist Bela Lugosi in Murders in the Rue Morgue in 1932. Some 16 years later, she appeared in the film version of Arthur Miller's play All My Sons in 1948 with Edward G. Robinson. In the 1960s, Frances made three films. She played the wife of James Cagney in One, Two, Three, 1961, directed by Billy Wilder, and filmed in Munich. She made The Thrill of It All in 1963 with James Gardner, and in 1968, the television version of the play Laura, which she had played on stage several times. Her final film performance was in Wilder's Fedora in 1978. She wrote an autobiography in 1978 entitled Arlene Francis, a memoir with help from a longtime friend Florence Rome. She wrote That Certain Something, 
The Magic of Charm in 1960 and a cookbook, No Time for Cooking, in 1961. She was a member of the Peabody Awards Board of Jurors from 1980 to 82. Frances also guested on television programs, including Mrs. G Goes to College in 1962 in the episode The Mother Affair. In her personal life, Frances was married twice. Her first marriage, from 1935 to 1945, was to Neil Agnew, an executive of Paramount Pictures. They divorced in 1945. Frances's second marriage was to actor and producer Martin Gable. From 1946 until his death in 1986, they had a son, Peter Gable, born in 1947, a legal scholar associated with the New College of California in San Francisco. Sadly, Frances died at the age of 93 on May 31, 2001, in San Francisco, California, from Alzheimer's disease and cancer. She was interred in Roosevelt Memorial Park in Travos, Pennsylvania.